All right, I'm gonna do a little update on my uh, 2017, which it might be even 2018, Neo All Sport trailer plus 12 added height, um, 22 foot box plus I don't know whatever the V is five foot maybe. Um, anyway, the update in the, on this uh, trailer is at around. 500 miles that their light went out it's pretty disappointing to me for a brand new expensive trailer and then at around 700 miles light on this side that one went out Not a whole lot of miles on a trailer to have lights going out already. And most of the miles were fair weather. It was only the one trip that we actually were in the snow. So, pretty disappointed. So, I took it back to my dealer. These guys here. They, uh, no questions. Took it right in. Uh, worked with me on scheduling and everything. Fit my schedule. And uh, they fixed fixed the lights on either side. Um, they said that they, reason they failed is because they were installed with, um, butt connectors that weren't sealed, which just boggles my mind. On a all aluminum snowmobile trailer, why in the world would you not use sealed butt connectors? You gotta be freaking kidding me. So, kind of annoyed about that. Next, this, uh, this gasket seal here. It, um, it peeled all up most of the way around. Oh, look at here. Yeah. <coughs> Just like this. There again. Things like two months old. Brand new. Maybe three at this point, but, um, not a lot of use for that's for sure. That door has not been opened and closed very much to already have the seal rip off. So, two negatives on this Neo trailer. Um, the seal was a lot worse. There again, I took that back to the dealer. They re-glued it to me, for me. Um, and then the, the first time I opened the door, that came undone. Granted, it was like two degrees outside. It was really cold. Um, I think that they... The glue that they use to fix it, it just needs to be warmer out. It's bottom line. Um, they don't have a shop to fit this tall of a tra trailer in, I don't think. Um, maybe they do. I don't know if it'll fit. But at any rate, um, I think that was the problem. Is that just the glue? It was too cold for the glue to hold. Why it failed the first time, I'm more annoyed with. But less annoyed with the seal failure than I am with the trailer lights not using sealed butt connectors are you freaking kidding me it's just downright stupid anyway that's my update on my neo trailer oh wait let me tell you a little other tidbit about this thing so gave you the size in the beginning here I towed this with a 2017 F-150 3.5 liter EcoBoost. Thing's got freaking power to spare. Pulls it as far as weight wise, no problem. But this thing is a giant freaking kite. Um, and the tail wags the dog, if you know what I mean. It, that, that trailer will flop me, you can feel it. Flopped me around left and right, um, which is disappointing. I think I just need a heavier truck, but let me show you what I bought. All right, so this is what I bought to help uh, help with my trailer swaying. Bought this uh, Hayes Swaymaster. Don't know if it works. I've not tried it yet, but the theory is uh you plug your trailer 
into that plug right there. That's just a cover, it opens up. And then this plug, you plug into your truck. You just bolt it onto the side of your truck here, or on the side of the trailer, rather. Um, and it's kind of plug and play. And it uses the trailer brakes to help uh, reduce the sway. If it has a gyroscope in it and a GPS or something, you just have to mount it so that it's clear to the sky. <sighs> Which, not a whole lot of room on this tongue, so I'm hoping it'll fit. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, my stupid Ford sticker there to back up. But I'm going to try moving this back a little bit so that uh, my tailgate my tailgate just catches this. So I only need to move it back like an inch. So I'm going to move some stuff around. Make sure this doesn't uh, this doesn't hit on the trailer there. See if I can find a place to mount that other thing. I don't know if it's going to fit. Oof. It's not good. Anyway, we'll figure that out when I get to it.